Hi, my name is Sarah Martin and I graduated from UD in 2014 with my PhD. I worked with Don Watson studying and developing siloheck reactions to make vinyl and owl silanes and silo ethers. My name is Gabe Andrade. I graduated from UD in 2017 and earned a PhD working for Joel Rosenthal. My name is Mackenzie and I graduated from UD in 2018 after earning my PhD working with Professor Andrew Teplikov. My name is Fei Yang. I graduated from UD in 2020 and I got my PhD degree working for Professor Don Watson. Hi all, uh, my name is Hari. I graduated from University of Delaware in 2014. I earned my PhD under the guidance of Professor Mary Watson. Hi, my name is Feng Yuntian. I graduated from UD in 2013 and earned my PhD in chemistry working for Dr. Andrew Tapiakov. Hello, my name is Quinn Yang. I graduated from UD in the year of 2016 with a PhD degree in biochemistry. I worked with Professor Zhi Hao Zhuang. My name is Stephanie Filardo. I graduated from UD in 2017 and earned my PhD working for Joel Rosenthal. My name is Matthew Fritz. I graduated from UD in 2019 and earned my PhD working for Tatiana Polnova. Hi, my name is Man Man Lu. I graduated from UD in 2017 and learned my PhD working for Professor Tatiana Polnova. Hi, my name is Tom Apple and I'm a PhD graduate from the University of Delaware Chemistry Department in 1982. I'm excited about telling you about my experience in chemistry because it changed my life. After graduating from UD, I postdoc with Suzanne Walker at Harvard Medical School. Currently, I'm an assistant professor at the College of Worcester here in Worcester, Ohio. After graduating from UD, I postdoc at the U.S. Army Research Lab in Adelphi, Maryland. Currently, I am working at Los Alamos National Laboratory, where I'm a staff scientist in the Weapons Infrastructure and Planning Office. And after graduating from UD, I went straight into my current position in Oregon, where I am a process engineer for Intel. So currently, I'm working at Wuxi as a, as a senior scientist. After graduating from UD, I was a postdoc um, at UTSC. Um, working with Professor Michael Doyle, and I joined as a scientist in the process R&D division of the GBK Bio. And currently I'm working as a principal scientific manager, working in the process R&D. After graduating from UD, I joined the University of San Diego as a postdoc. After that, I joined the faculty at the California State University at Long Beach, where I'm currently an assistant professor of chemistry, teaching analytics teaching analytical chemistry courses, and having my own research group. After graduating from UD, I worked as a postdoctoral fellow in Johns Hopkins University. Currently, I am a tenure-track assistant professor in the College of Pharmacy, the University of Texas at Austin. Currently, I am working at the Los Alamos National Laboratory as a scientist for the Actinide Analytical Chemistry Group, where I support laboratory missions including NASA, power supply, and stockpile stewardship. After graduating, I started my industry career at Intel Corporation in Oregon. I'm currently working at Intel where I am a process engineer in a dry edge group. After graduating from UD, I started my postdoc at the University of Pittsburgh. I became passionate about something for the first time in my life. And I owe that to the chemistry department at Delaware. You know, I, I live now in Hawaii. I actually eventually, after many years as a professor, I've been to five Research One universities as a scientist and professor, and uh, uh, eventually became the head of the University of Hawaii. I have lots of great memories of my time at UD. One of my favorites has to be the day that Richard Heck won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Um, so that was just a really special thing to be a part of, to be developing new cross-coupling reactions myself, and to um, be in a department that has such a great history in that area of research. My favorite memory from UD is a collection of memories from group outings, including happy hours, Blue Rocks baseball games, and group barbecues. After being at UD for so many years, I had really come to think of Newark as my home, and I developed 
so many close personal and professional relationships. So at our department, it's more like a big family. So you can always interact and learn from other people that have different background and cultures from you. Working in UD also gave me an immense opportunity to interact with the birding scientists from different countries all over the world. I also have lots of good memories of having coffee breaks with my lab mates in Bruhaha. My favorite memory from UD is the working with a group of talented and hardworking researchers in Professor John's group. My favorite memory from UD were the friendships and group activities, including attending events on Main Street, such as Food and Brew and Wine and Dine. I have a lot of good memories from my time at UD, both personal and professional. Some of my best professional memories were the travel experiences. I got to travel to India for a workshop, Quebec for a conference, and Tatiana's lab uh, traveled a lot. I have lots of good memories from UD, in general, I really like the open and friendly environment in campus. As an international student, um, UD is like a window for me to the American life and American culture, and it indeed showed me lots of amazing things. The experience I had at Delaware really prepped me for everything that came beyond that. And I can tell you from the many universities I've been at, the Delaware Chemistry Department is extremely strong. Uh, one of the most highly you know, thought of programs in the country. The most valuable part of my experience at UD, um, of lots of things I could name, was probably being part of such a collaborative and well-equipped department. The faculty in the department and even outside of the department are extremely willing to collaborate. Research groups work together, they share resources and equipment. The most valuable part of my experience at UD would be the multidisciplinary environment of the department. Our lab covered a wide range of capabilities and I was fortunate to collaborate with other professors including Joe Fox and Catherine Grimes. And the most valuable part of my experience at UD is the personal and professional growth that I developed there. Uh, I started a research project on topics with which I had no prior experience, so I had a lot to learn. Um, but after four years of research and experiments and trial and error and discussions with experts in the field, um, I realized that I had become confident in my knowledge and my understanding of these topics, uh, which also translated into my becoming a more self-assured person in other aspects of my life. Um, I am able to uh, comfortably seek out challenges and I'm confident in my ability to handle them. The experience at UD working in Mary's lab has brought best out of myself and helped me in deciphering many scientific uh, challenges which are faced in my professional scientific career. I guess the most valuable part from a UD experience is that I was fortunate of having Andrew as my PhD advisor. By talking to Andrew, I feel I learned most of how to think as a scientist. The most valuable part of my experience in UD is the extensive scientific training and the development of my long-term research interest in chemical biology. My most valuable part of my experience at UD would be learning the essential work skills, including time management and how to give an effective presentation. The most valuable part of my UD experience was gaining the self-confidence to be independent and creative. Part of the experience is to learn how to learn and how you learn, enabling one to push their boundaries. Right. The most valuable part of my experience at UD would be that I have received a really solid and comprehensive professional training in my I was trained to think critically. I learned how to communicate science efficiently. I had exciting opportunities to work with cutting edge instruments and methodologies and to collaborate with great scientists around the world. All of this uh, valuable experience in their own ways have shaped me into this young scientist as I am today. The instrumentation and core facilities in the department um, have only gotten better since I left and they already rivaled or outpaced those at lots of other institutions. So it's a really wonderful place to go to do your research because 
you'll, you'll have all the resources you need to be able to get it done. As an international student, I really appreciate all the resources provided by the university and the department. Also, all the professors I encountered at UD, they're super nice and patient. You will be mentored, not just by your major professor, but by others who really care about you. And you can feel that when you're in the department. I just think that uh, the University of Delaware's chemistry department, it made me who I am today and what I am today. Um, and I feel so honored to be a graduate. I hope you'll really consider Delaware as your choice for graduate school. I really hope that you uh, strongly consider UD and come to UD to see uh, what it's all about and to be part of this great department.